Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the F-18 Hornet and we're fighting another Hornet. And it's just, you know, for fun, just to keep our dogfighting skills um, sharper. I've been doing a lot of older aircraft, so I want to make sure that, you know, I still got it in the Hornet. Now, in order to give myself a challenge, I brought my buddy Longshot here, who is going to try to give me a run for my money. And again, with the symmetrical aircraft, it just means that, you know, energy management is king, I think. Uh, because he can one circle, two circle, the exact same as me, or we're in the same aircraft. Uh, there's the merge, one circle. I'm going to use a bit of the vertical here. He's got a Fox 2 off, and no track. He kind of fired it into the sun, so um, I'm safe there. Now I'm transitioning into... Oh, shit. Oh. How did he not kill me there? No time to ponder on that. Got to turn the fight. I'm really surprised that I didn't get hit there. As close as that looked, I don't think any of them hit me because I didn't hear any impact. So I think we're still safe here. Now he has transitioned this into a raid fight. You can see a nose to tail fight. And uh, I got to drop my nose here because I lost a little bit too much speed. I was trying to scare him by just pointing my nose at him, but he didn't go for it. And so I'm dumping my nose here, get the speed up. Because I gotta hit that 360 to 380 range, and I'm already in the 400s, so I can pull hard here and just G's to sustain nose speed. I'm giving up speed for nose position, uh, pulling the G's here, and getting a little too slow. We're coming around now, the rate fight is a game of patience. I think right here I can pull him into the HUD. There we go, Fox 2. Missed, shit. That was nice though, he saw that coming. He saw him dump out the flares. It's probably one of the only reasons why he's alive there. Fox 2 again, guns. Oh, nearly hit him there. Alright, we're down at guns only. We're both carrying two Sidewinder 9Ms. I fired both of mine, so... Basically a guns-only fight at this point. And it looks like he's a little bit slow in this raid fight, so... I might be able to capitalize on this. Remember, the raid fight is uh, a game of patience. If you get too greedy... Okay, here's the reversal, just a little too late. He's gonna cross in front of my face. Ooh! Oh, damn. <laughs> I saw impacts from nose to tail there. And that looks like a dead pilot. Looks like a hornet just flying for itself. We'll go ahead and help it out with that. There we go, we don't need that, that wing there. Alright, splash one. So really unlucky there because I hit him right in the face. Lucky kill last time for me. He just uh, was a little bit late on his reversal and crossed right in front of my nose. 
and uh, all I had to do was hold down the trigger there. Now, the second round here, and I don't think he's going to make that mistake again, but we'll see. Um, if he does do it, I mean, I'll try to punish him for it for sure. Now, let's see if we can give ourselves some turning room. Slight offset to the right here. And I'm going to try to confuse him in the direction of the turn I take. I'm going to try to take this two circle. There we go. Okay, that might have been a big mistake. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that was a good idea on my part. It looks like he's going to get nose on first. He's got a Fox 2 off. Flares out. Just missed me. Alright, back in the one circle. Fox 2. Missed. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, he's upset about last round for sure. Okay, let's see if we can scare him. Point our nose at him a little bit. Usually when you do this, people freak out. And uh, they'll make some mistakes. We'll see if it works here. Just try to climb over my nose here. You can see I'm super slow. This is definitely not a good idea unless you're sure that your bandit will cross the nose. Now here we go with full rudder. Just trying to point the nose at him and freak him out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, man. You see that reticle was like two centimeters behind him. Oh shit, almost hitting the ground here. Relax, everything's fine. Except now he's a lot faster than me and he is outrating me in the circle here. Try to get our speed up, get back into the raid fight with them. I'm about 270, I really want to be around 360. A little bit slow. Pulled him into the HUD there to take the shot, Fox 2 missed. And here we go, I think I can get guns on. Shit! I think those were just short. Working very hard here and not hit the ground. I kind of cashed in all my energy to get that shot, so I'm kind of screwed now. He's pulling around behind me, and I foresee a Fox 2 coming at me in this situation here. Nope, there it is. Flares out. Come on, baby. Come on. Shit. It's a good kill. Good kill, the long shot. Capitalized on me pulling too hard there. Well played. Alright guys, quick little tag view review here, uh, long shot red, me blue, and what we're going to look for, I think this is the round where he wins, so we're going to look for mistakes and things like that. Um, what you can see here in the initial stages is I'm setting up uh, kind of like a, 
uh, I mean, I guess it's an offset. The idea here is that you're trying to generate uh, turning room. And the way it would work is if he just kept flying straight, let's just assume, and you know, I did this offset off to this side, when he was here, I would maybe start a turn in and I would already be this far through the turn, then he would be here through the merge, he would start, I don't know, he would turn this way or something, and I would be more of the way through the turn. The, the point is, with this situation, I could start turning before he could, and I could generate some turning room. Um, the way for him to basically deny me the turning room is to turn into me, which is what he's doing here. And basically, if he does that, we're just back to square one dogfighting. Um, let's see. And so that's what he does. And so I gotta turn into him. You can see like as I turn in here, you can see how this situation would have been different if he had just flown straight, right? I'd be crossing across his tail and I'd have more, uh, I'd be more of the way or degrees through the turn than he would be if he initiated there. But I mean, to do this, he'd have to be kind of dumb, right? It's not that hard to figure out that you need to turn into your bandit. So um, there is the turn. So here I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm just looping around trying to have some fun with him, trying to force him into a, a different fight than he wants. Uh, I think he was going for a one circle, but I forced a two circle. Um, but he we took the vertical and, you know, that slowed him down further. The high AOA of the Hornet swings his nose around. And you can see here, uh, this is when I realized that uh, I done goofed and he's got nose on way before me. And uh, here's his fox too. And in all, you know, for all intents and purposes, he should be hitting me with this first missile. And, you know, that fight should be over right there. So, um, however, I do get lucky, come out of burner, drop the flares. And was there pre-flaring? No, I didn't even pre-flare. Yeah, I flare as he fires the missile. So I think I actually realize that I'm in a bad situation and flare. And then maybe a second later, you can see the missile is fired and my flare at the same time. So I think that might be the only reason that I survived there. And then he put some guns on me and then there's the merge. And so at this point, you know, I'm going for a, a one circle. We've got a nose to nose fight here. And you can see this time I get nose on first and just really comes down to the speed i'm just a little bit tighter on the speed here's my fox 2 that almost tracks right almost there and he's going to take some more shots and then right here um invert this is a rudder roll that's all i did there um full right rudder okay and at this point we're just kind of doing this roll now here's the the transition into the once into the the raid fight on the deck here so you can see you know i'm sitting at an indicator of 145 he's 239 um this is the part where i was millimeters off from uh, a gun solution there um, but i couldn't get it and basically what that means is you know i have to go into a raid fight and i'm slow in a very bad situation you can see he's made significant um distance through the circle and I'm just getting into it here. However, you can see he's gotten too slow here. He pulled way too hard on the stick through that initial circle. Right here is when he pulled way too hard. Now the tables have flipped. I'm sitting at an indicator of 300 plus, And he's back down to a slow hornet. And that becomes evident to me as I start doing the circle here. I realize that, oh, he's really slow. And you can just tell by looking at him. So I bring it around. And... I think, yeah, you can see right here, I, I kind of pull hard to try to get the the Fox 2, but that missile comes off the rail and just goes stupid. Now, I think that's somewhat related to the sun being right here and him being, you know, pretty much in the sun, and the missile just went stupid there. So that's my bad. I shouldn't have fired there, but I did. And right here, I give him a little bit of a gunshot, and it's so close. It's so close right there. And I cashed in all my energy to get that shot. Now this becomes, uh, a, you know, an example of poor energy management and getting too greedy. You pull too hard on the stick to get your shot. You miss your shot. And now you're just, you know, a sitting duck. 
And that's what happens here. Notice how he went from a position in front of me where I could get a shot at him to he's all the way around the circle behind me. And that's just what happens when you cash in your energy and you don't get the kill, right? So this is why you don't want to take these um, high risk shots. Uh, this is one of the reasons why, because now look at him. He's sitting right there behind me, Fox 2, Splash 1. All right, so good kill the long shot. Thank you for watching. That's going to be the video for today. Remember that energy management is king, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.